Hey guys, I'm just waiting on Lauren. Anyway, um, it's been a while. <laughs> been working, doing some fun stuff. Um, lots of research, been learning a lot about organite, um, even plasmic energy, tachyon or zero point energy. There's a lot of really cool stuff that I found on the internet um, that's working. So I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff with that. Um, AI, that's a big subject. That one is, hey Eden, something that I've been watching that Lauren's been talking about. She's actually an Ascension coach. I've worked with her a little bit. Um, kind of out of curiosity, I was really drawn to her. I love her energy. Really beautiful woman, amazing. I love the wisdom that a lot of these millennials have that are waking up or that are awake. And <clears throat> it's really inspirational to me just as someone that's gone through a lot. You know, we all have our, our moments. So anyway, I'm not sure we had scheduled to, for six her time. I'm, that's central time. So that's it. Or excuse me, seven. So yeah, we're six here. Mountain time checking my clock again. So anyway, <clears throat> just really a lot of different things that I've been taken from nutrition to different types of energy, free energy, healing um, on google.ru. It's the Russian Google. They actually have stuff on there that the um, like United States and the UN's Google don't have, which I've been like, wow, a lot of hidden stuff. Um, but there's these healing cocoons. That's why I've been studying about like tachyon energy, different things that anyway, this healing cocoons that utilize the zero point energy, which tachyon, um, there's, you know, you could research it on there as I get closer to making the organite, I'll do some videos showing how I'm doing the process. I actually was reading about Wilhelm Reich. Uh, who was a scientist that discovered how organite, when he would put certain stones with certain types of metals together, <clears throat> excuse me, that it gen generates kind of like uh, protective energy from EMF waves. So if you ever notice, um, excuse me, like you get headaches if you're around a lot of internet. Um, I know that there's different dangers about like cell phone energies and everything it blocks it somehow or cancels it or absorbs it or something. So yeah, anyway, that's one of the cool things. Um, as far as AI goes, part of the question is, can we go too far with it? Cause I mean, you see people getting like all these things implanted in their bodies that really is that needed. I mean, if we truly were to slow down a little bit, do some deep breathing, calm down, eat healthier, then we would do better. <clears throat> I know I was so much sicker, way sicker, or however that goes. I've got a redneck thing going on here, right? <laughs> anyway, when I was more ill, I was on big pharma. I mean, 16 plus drugs that one was canceling out the other. I mean, there's nausea, dizziness, stuff for the heart, stuff for headaches, stuff for eye issues. Um, when I was pregnant, I had different diabetes things. Anyway, like watching Dr. Bergman, I've been amazed, and even other people, other physicians, and just reading for myself what nutrition can do. So how far can we go, like, on AI? It's a good question. Let me see if she is, maybe something came up, but if she doesn't get on in a minute, I'll go ahead and sign off for a sec and get a hold of her and we'll start over. So anyway, um, there's a lot of really interesting things out there that I would suggest. Like if you can't find it just on Google, go to a different browser. Like on my phone, I use Adware, Adblock browser. Yeah. Adblock browser. Excuse me. That one blocks the ads on YouTube and it plays it like YouTube Red, so I can ha be doing other things and listen to things on YouTube, which is awesome, because I love to listen to a lot of audiobooks or 
different things. Maybe I'll be working around the house or chasing my chickens around and, you know, just loving nature. But uh, lots and lots of cool things. <clears throat> so, yeah, Google.ru. Um, gosh, what other things? I know there's things called med beds that is, it's like a cool laser light is what's being used. And it looks kind of like this egg pod thing that opens up and there's some spas that have them. I think they're just calling them like a therapy bed or a, oh, that's another thing they're calling them. I'd have to look it up again, but it kind of, it gives you energy, you feel more energized, um, more vibrant. I guess people are feeling healthier. So I'm wondering if that has to do with some of the tachyon energy. I haven't really looked into those as deeply. I know here in Pocatello, they've got one of those over at Sensations over by um, Gold's Gym. And we go there like Boyd and I will go tanning or something. And <clears throat> just because in the wintertime, I like to get what sunshine I can with vitamin D. Well, it's the tanning bed. But, you know, they have this thing there and I'm kind of intrigued thinking I might want to save up and try one just to see does it really help because I know how a lot of times in the winter months people are more sick or prone to get sick when they do get sick then it goes on forever maybe they get an infection or or whatever and I've had some off and on I've noticed since whenever I feel like something's coming on I'll take in a nebulizer, I've got a electric one that I plug into the wall and it has a mask on it. And I put uh, N-acetylcysteine in about four ounces of distilled water. And I'll just stir it around. And then I'll do about five cc's of colloidal silver in that. And then I just breathe it in. And if I feel like I really, you know, just really crappy, like bad autoimmune flare up, like last week was really bad. I did a lot of, excuse me, work and travel in Salt Lake. And my knees swelled up. We did the Qualtrics event. It was a blast. And I got to do the fun dancing and showing people where to go. But by about Thursday, my knees were so swollen that I could hardly walk. I still, you know, did it. I still worked. And then up until Saturday. But when I got home, I immediately took colloidal silver. I was drinking a lot of liquids. A um, lot of water. We've been doing the five gallon thing over at uh, Fred Meyer Smith's. I think it's like two bucks for the five gallons and they, it, they shoot it with the uh, ultraviolet lights. There's a filter for like chlorine and bacterias. Um, I believe there's something even for like fluoride, but I've checked and Pocatello doesn't fluoridate their water. Thank God. Um, but it's done pretty good water. So, um, yeah, after about maybe 48 hours, my knees stopped swelling, and then I think it took about five days, but I'm pretty much back to normal again. Um, really bad flare-ups used to last for weeks, and I'd be in bed. Um, the fact that I'm up and enjoying myself, I've been singing a little today, <clears throat> I still have some of the phlegm issues. I haven't figured that one out yet. Ugh, I know the crap trails you know, the plane spraying us, um, that doesn't help with all the heavy metals in that. Again, that's why I do the, uh, nebulizer and acetylcysteine and colloidal silver. And I noticed that it's actually reduced the amount of fluid in my lungs. And so I, I would just say, try it. I am not a doctor. I can't say do it or else, you know, I guess sometimes I get a little excited about it just because I can see really what it's doing for us. Um, even my kids, like if we feel like we get a sinus infection or cold that gets nasty, I'll just take one of those um, Neil Med nasal rinse things and we'll put distilled water with the little saline solution that they give you like little packets. And I, you can also make it with baking soda and uh, sea salt and then just put it up your nose, squeeze it. But I also add about five cc's of colloidal silver, shake it up. Dr. Davis, my naturopath, says you can do up to a teaspoon. <laughs> That's a lot. So I, I do well with five cc's, and usually in about 24 hours, the stinging from your cold goes away. I've treated for us strep throat, um, cold sores, canker sores, 
Uh, L-lysine, I usually also take uh, if we notice that we're getting a cold just to stop getting cankers. And I haven't had a cold sore in the past couple influenzas that I've gotten, which is phenomenal. So there's something to this natural stuff that works. It works for us. I mean, I'm off of all medications. I love it. Amazing, amazing things. Eating natural, whole, whole foods. Um, I mean, Mother Earth does just fine. She doesn't need Monsanto, <clears throat> Monsanto to help. So, you know, there's too many problems with cancers and autisms and our bodies are made to heal. I, I really believe if we just feed them right and take care of them and get some sunshine, sometimes we'll lay in the, <laughs> the window and like a cat, you know, just get some sunshine, be happy, sir. So anyway, I'm going to sign off and something must have come up with Lauren, but I will definitely get back whenever I can hook up with her again and we'll resume this. Ciao guys. Peace.